if this is a sign of what's to come for NHI, then I want no part of it. A video has gone viral showing the decay of Joseph Helen Hospital. But before I get into that, ladies and gentlemen, please leave a like on this video, share it far and wide, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. All right, let's get into it. When people on have our small and yana eh, skeletons. <laughs> Did I hear that great? Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to News Flash. I'm your host, Joe Emilio. Thanks for tuning in. All right, so for those of you who may not know, Helen Joseph Hospital is a public hospital based in Auckland Park, Johannesburg. As a teaching hospital, it's affiliated with the University of Witts Medical School. Tom London, who made this video, is a broadcaster and host of the Tom London Show. Now, I have linked the full video he made in the description if you want to check it out. I'm not going to go through the whole video. I'm just going to go through some highlights. So Tom in the video explains that he wasn't feeling very well and he went to the Helen Joseph Hospital to look for treatment. And the video shows some very disturbing images of the state of this hospital. The facilities for Ward 8. Uh, there's the bath. Uh, there is a cold tap which works, but uh, no one baths here. Okay, or I don't know what that door means where it's supposed to go. That's probably the toilet, which for some reason is probably out of order. Your basins. These are the toilets you get to choose from. Never mind, maybe it's a storage room, that previous room, I don't know. Uh, this is weird. To choose from. You get to no toilet seat. To choose from toilet one or toilet two. It's, well, the toilet seat's on the pipe, that's convenient which is a bit better this morning. There's the toilet paper. No toilet paper either. But I'm gonna show you some of the crap that's going on in this ward. Give me a second. Let's go to the ward. Oh, by the way, I'm lucky to be talking to you on this phone because last night as I was sleeping, a woman came into the room, took the phone from right next to my head and stole it. Luckily, the guy opposite me saw it, woke me up, said, Tom, someone's just stolen your phone. I got another guy to call it, and I heard it ringing from down the passage, and I tracked her down to a ward where she was trying to remove the SIM card. So I'm very lucky to be talking to you on this phone. So while the man's sleeping, someone just stole his phone. It's not the nurse. It doesn't sound like it's a nurse or a staff. But some... Wow. That's... Wow. Let's go into Ward 8. The doctor's here. You, you give doctors a bad name, all of you, despicable human beings, right? So let me just explain that. He's not just being rude about the doctors. Uh, in, earlier in the video, he does explain that the doctors are, well, they don't really talk to the patients. They don't really say much. They don't greet. They don't even really address you at all. Um, he was saying how one of the patients were screaming in agony and said, like, doctor, I'm in pain. And the doctor was just like, okay. Uh, but again, link to the full video is in the description if you want to check it out. Yeah, taps. What do you think it works? Nah, that tap doesn't work. Let's check the ceilings out. Well, they're peeling and flaking and stuffed, right? All of this is rusted. That's alpha hazard. This is my bed. The plug doesn't work. It's the plug doesn't work. So if you're on one of those respiratory machines that keep you alive, it's not going to work. You might as well have load shedding. It's blown. That's all rusted. I am so angry with you. This is the Helen Joseph Circus Hospital where doctors experiment on you. Now, for YouTube reasons, I can't show you this footage, but Tom does mention and shows that a man has unfortunately died in his ward just moments before he started making this video. Um, it's really, really sad to see. Now, our government wants us to believe that the NHI is going to do great things for us. But here's just a few minutes in the day in the life of the Helen Joseph Circus Hospital where the doctors talk about their cars and their clothes and their bonuses while people lie dying in front of them. 
when the doctors left the ward now, after this guy just died, they were laughing. Shame on you. Shame on you, Helen Joseph Hospital. But mostly, shame on the doctors that think they have the right to call themselves doctors that run around this hospital and treat every single patient like a cockroach. You, doctors, you're the cockroaches. You actually don't deserve to exist. Not the patients you're busy experimenting on and killing. Please share this video so people can see the state of South African healthcare. If this is what the NHI is, make sure it doesn't happen. Okay, so that video was released a few days ago, and here are some updates as to what's happened since then. I have left Helen Joseph. I have a severe lymphoma infection in the lung. I desperately need the assistance of a physician or pulmonologist so I can start treatment before this kills me. If anybody can assist or knows of someone I can go to, please help. And he did get help. He, he found it at a private hospital which he eventually got into now of course private hospitals are very expensive and someone surprising came to assist um, I just like to thank Minister Gayton McKenzie who takes a lot of flack uh, on social media for being a showboater but I met Gayton 20 years ago when he came out of prison and he told me he turned his life around when I was working at talk radio 702 as a talk show host um, and uh, somebody in one of my threads asked Minister Gayton McKenzie if he could assist. Now, Gayton isn't the Minister of Health, he's the Minister of Sports, Arts and Culture. It's not his portfolio. But uh, Minister Gayton McKenzie, within 10 minutes, sent one of his representatives from his party here to the Morningside Clinic. Now, this is the way politicians should behave, and this is how quickly ministers should act. I want to tell anyone who's got anything bad to say about Gayton McKenzie, sit inside Morningside Clinic dying and wait for someone like Gayton McKenzie to send a representative to you in five minutes before you tell me anything bad about Gayton McKenzie. I don't want to even read it in ever, ever again. The fact that a government minister has done this for me so quickly, sent someone from his party to assist me, is, uh, I don't think you'll find that from any other politician in this country. Yeah, Gayton McKenzie helped out this guy, helped out Tom London, something I'm pleasantly surprised about. Now, if you're wondering if Vitz said anything about this, they did. I would show it to you, but it's a bit difficult to read due to the low resolution. But here's the gist of it. Uh, they basically say that they are looking into things and that they know their staff and students are stretched to their limits with ailing resources and too many patients. They will work hard to rectify the problem, blah, blah, blah. A typical statement that any corporation or company or business would pretty much say. I think this comes a little bit too late, to be honest. Latest update on Tom. Well, he's made a backup buddy uh, so he can pay to get the operation that he needs. He's still at the private hospital, safe and sound. I have left a link in the description if you're keen to help Tom out. Now, I know what some of you guys are going to say in the comment section. You see, Joe, this is why we need NHI, because then NHI will make medical care free for everyone. And yeah, that's true. I would, I would agree with that. However, it's like some of you don't learn. You forget who's implementing the NHI, the South African government. And as much as some people want to fall for the whole GNU thing, I am definitely not. Remember, the ANC still has the majority in the GNU, and they have shown us up until now that they don't care what people think. They're going to implement it regardless. And why do you think they want to implement it? Follow the money. Because here's the thing. Public hospitals in this country are actually well funded, believe it or not. The problem isn't necessarily the finance. The problem is the fact that somewhere on that chain, the finance doesn't go to where it's supposed to go. It goes to caters and other corrupt individuals. And now that the government wants full control of the health sector, basically, do you really think they're going to start being honest with the way they spend the money? Come on. Search your feelings, you know it to be true. Another thing about the NHI is that everybody deserves the right to choose their health insurance. And Tom London's scenario is a perfect example of as to why. Now, I know he probably can't afford health insurance, but that's not his fault either. It's actually the ANC's fault because had they focused on making South Africa a very prosperous nation where the middle class has been expanded and a lot of people have come out of property, well then, a lot of people or a lot more more people could afford health insurance and thus making it actually more affordable. I don't have time to go into the in-depth economics of this all, but many experts 
have said this. There's no doubt that the socialist agenda of the ANC is failing, well, at least failing the South African people. And yes, this is a very multi-layered issue, like many other issues in South Africa. But one thing's for sure, squeezing more money out of the taxpayer is not going to fix it. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, ladies and gentlemen. What do you think about all this? What do you think about Tom? Are you going to help him? Do you think the NHI will look like this or will it be even worse? And while you're down there, leave a like on this video, share it far and wide and subscribe to the channel. I've got more content coming your way. And with all that being said, thank you for watching. Your newsflash is in. Thank you.